This is Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, Nile FM. Now, Nile FM's Aware with Adam. Welcome to yet another episode of Nile FM's Aware. With me tonight, very, 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 very cool individuals. That's all I can describe them. Happy Green World. More details in seconds to come. Stick around. Egypt's number one. With me tonight in the studio, two very, very cool ladies, Alexandra, I'm going to call you Alex if that's okay, sure. and Ulrika, Oli as well. Um, you guys are from a very, very cool initiative called Happy Green World. Now, uh, we're going to get to some details about that in a matter of seconds, but right now, I, I have to ask, what sparked you to start this particular project? I mean, what was the driving motivation behind it? Well, we actually love living here. I mean, the weather <laughs> getting much nicer and being so much better than Europe, but, um, you know, driving along the ring road, the, the the sun can be as nice as it is, but if you look left and right at the piles of rubbish piling up there, getting bigger and bigger, the plastic bags and the fences, we thought we need to do something about that. Very interesting. I mean, so it's basically the, the um, amount of trash because we always blame the amounts of trash on like, you know, poor trash collection or, or whatever. Uh, but we never really thought that we can actually do something about it. Um, I mean, is, is this basically what you guys are coming from? Exactly. Like the surprising fact is where does the trash come from? Interesting. So if, if we answer that question, we may find a way what we can do about the trash out in the streets. We produce trash. We, we buy stuff and then there are leftovers and things. And we have an option, we throw them somewhere or we make better use of them. Okay, and in well, the first place, we make sure that there isn't that much trash. So it's actually really easy. Give me an example then. When I go to the supermarket or wherever I do my shopping, I can make sure that I buy not too much uh, wrapping materials, that I make sure I buy bigger quantities. Uh, of course, not too much, so I don't have to throw the unused quantities away. But I have many options how I can reduce the, the simple amount of paper and packaging and whatever there is. Very, very interesting. So basically, mm. this is this is the driving force trying to reduce the amount of trash that we actually produce. So, did you know that only sixty percent of the waste that we produce actually does get uh, collected? So forty percent of everything we throw away gets uh, dumped in the canals and on the side of the streets. I'm not really sure. I wanted to know that piece of information, <laughs> but now I do. <laughs> So yeah. you're, you're, you're actually serious, 40% of what we yeah. use, so to speak, whether it's being uh, paper bags, uh, uh, toilet paper, etc., etc., it just finds its way in the river, in the Nile, in the canals, Absolutely. on the streets. It gets burned. I mean, well, let's let's just be honest here. It is a big problem how much trash we have uh, in Cairo and in Egypt in general. And we're just talking about how we can possibly reduce it. You also mentioned a very interesting fact that 40% of our trash never gets picked up. It just finds its uh, way to the Nile or to the streets or gets burned, etc., etc. So, Happy Green World. What is your? I mean, what is what is exactly what exactly is Happy Green World? And what is what is the solution that you guys are offering? Happy Green World is a learning program for children aged 8 to 12. Um, it's trying to show children what they can do about uh, waste for the time being. We're working on, a, on another edition uh, ch um, tackling the, the problem of water, how to preserve water, how to use it more responsibly. So for the time being, the, what we are trying to, to inform the children about in the first uh, materials, that there is a way how you can produce less trash and there are many ways how you can reuse, you know, the famous three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. So what I can do at home is I reduce and I reuse as much as possible. The recycling, there are many people who know very well about the recycling, so I don't really have to care that much about that part. But as an individual, I make sure that I have less garbage to take, be taken care of and that I reuse as much as possible. I use my things as long as possible. I make new things out of what I have. You know, I, I really, really like that because yeah. it, it just, it's, it's one of those approaches that doesn't just say, you know what, uh, I'm going to throw all of the responsibility on whoever, uh, whoever's going to be doing the recycling or whoever's going to be picking up the trash. Taking a part of the responsibility and saying, I can produce less trash and I can reuse whatever it is that I have uh, in order to make it last a little bit longer. So you mentioned that this is a child uh, or a children education program. So how are you uh, basically marketing it? I mean, is, is it, do you just talk to people on the streets or, or what's going on? Well, the, the material that we have is it's actually pretty fun and pretty cool. And uh, everyone we talk to loves it. 
So we try to talk to teachers, we try to talk to schools who can implement the program and, and give it to their children. And once they've seen it, they, they fall in love with it because it really explains to the children in a, in a fun way uh, that paper is actually made of trees. And if you produce more paper, you kill more trees. We're doing a teacher training on, uh, like this week, we're having a teacher training where we're uh, introducing the materials that we have produced to interested teachers, uh, encouraging them how to use them in the schools with children. And we have materials in Arabic and in English. So we are open to work with uh, whatever school there is interested. And it's about sensibilizing the children and showing them what they can actually do with very little effort and without much cost, because it's all about their behavior. So basically, it's kind of like a session, or is it a, a more of a long-term program, or how does it work exactly? Well, the teacher's guide that, that we have uh, includes about 30 exercises that teachers can just read about, and it tells them what material they need and how they can structure the session. And so it takes them through a three-month program that they can do with their children, either in a couple of sessions or just doing one session or doing five sessions, whatever they see fit to fit in their, in their class. So basically, it's very, very flexible, but the key point is that it is very fun and, and very engaging so that the children themselves actually, like, you know, want to learn about it, not feel that it's more of a school burden or, or like, more well, of a load. definitely not. It's nothing that the teacher sits up front and, and tells them. It's more involving the children to do stuff, to try stuff, to yeah. imagine stuff and, and try it out. It's very colorful and it involves a game, a snakes and ladder game, where they can, uh, they get... Um, incentivized to to do good and to be environmentally friendly. It's really fun. You should try it. Let's play it later. Actually, you know what? We're at, we're, once we're wrapping this up, we're going to head outside the studio and play this game. Um, I, count me in. Ladies, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to coming and talking to us Thanks right here on Elephant to Wear. Um, now, we, we already talked about, like, you know, the fact that there's so much garbage, so much trash in Egypt, and it's just a sad sight to see. 40% of what we use actually finds itself in, um, in, or finds its way in rivers and in the Nile and on the streets and gets burned. So this is why you came up with this really cool and exciting, engaging and fun, um, uh, basically, let me say school uh, uh, program or children's program that can be uh, utilized in schools by teachers as well to, to give children an awareness of what is going on, how to uh, re, re, uh, reduce the amount of trash that they uh, that they produce as well as you reuse it in, in a lot of cases. I guess the, the, the quintessential po uh, question right now is if I'm a school owner or if I'm a teacher <laughs> or if I'm a whatever and I want to get in touch with you guys, I want to know more or maybe implement this with my kids, what, what, what can I do? How do I get in touch? Well, our, uh, we have a homepage, it's called www.happygreenworld.org and you will find all the information about the material there. You can even um, see it, you can see what's in it, you can order it, you can get in touch with it. Mm. And um, as a school, you can ask us to come by, you can give a, ask us to give workshops and we can um, we can even talk about getting some school's uh, sponsorship for the for wow. the material if, uh, if there is need for it. Yeah. So basically, if I'm a school and I'm interested in this, but I don't have the budget, for example, to, mm -hmm. to, to purchase this. I mean, you mentioned earlier that it's pretty inexpensive on its own, yes. but even if I still don't have that kind of budget, there might be ways for you to get me a stipend, so to speak, so I can uh, implement this in my school even if I don't have the budget. Mm -hmm. Yes, that we, is we can speak wonderful. about this, and, and again, the material is available both in English and in Arabic. And it's basically, it's, it's, uh, it's adding to all the work that is being done by many, many other organizations and initiatives, and we're simply breaking it down to the level of children so that they can simply start activities. Perfect, perfect. There you have, there you have it. www.happygreenworld.org is the uh, website that you can visit. You obviously have links on your Twitter account and your, your Facebook account and everything. There you have it. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on the show. And as I always say, if you're one of these individuals uh, working on a project or an initiative or an NGO that is designed to give back to the community, make Cairo and Egypt a better place, please get in touch. Uh, send me a quick email, aware at nileradioproductions.net. Again, that's aware at nileradioproductions.net. I'd love to have you right here on the show. That's it for us. We'll catch you next Saturday, though. Um, and uh, we're off to play that game, I think, right now. So have a great <laughs> evening. <Nice> <laughs> Thank you.